modern outswing door panel installation. On stationary panels, line up the holes on the astragal base with the pre-drilled holes in the panel. Attach the astragal base with number 8 by 1 inch screws. Set the astragal cover aside. You'll use this later after the frame covers are installed. When using a saddle sill, attach the pile weather strip on the bottom of the panel. Install stationary brackets onto the panel. Fasten the brackets with number 8 by 1 and 3 quarter inch screws provided. Install the stationary panel. Set the panel on the sill and align the sill bolts with the holes in the sill. Tip the panel into place. Take care to avoid damage to the frame from the sill bolts on the bottom of the panel. Install the meeting style stationary bracket. Insert the bracket into the holes in the head jam strike. Fasten with the number eight by half inch flathead screws through the pre-drilled holes in the stationary meeting style. Adjust and line up the stationary brackets with the corresponding holes in the jam. Run installation screws through the brackets and into the rough opening. Be sure to shim behind every screw location, being careful not to bow the jam. Position the operator panel near the frame. Align the panel with the hinges on the frame. The panel should be set more than 90 degrees to the frame. Hand tighten number 10 by 1 and 1 half inch machine screws to fasten the hinges to the panel. Fasten at least four of the eight screws, two to the exterior and two to the interior. On XX doors, install the other panel in the same manner. Close the panels and check both the horizontal and vertical reveals. You might need to adjust the hinges or adjust your jam fasteners and shims to obtain an even reveal at the top and bottom. On OX or XO configurations, close and lock the operator panel. Make hinge adjustments as necessary to ensure proper operation. Verify the orientation of the latch bolt. Use a small Allen wrench to remove and rotate the latch bolt if necessary. Adjust your hinges vertically until you have consistent reveals along the top and bottom of the panels. Starting with a panel in the closed position, use the 3mm wrench to loosen the top screw 3 to 4 revolutions on both top and bottom hinges. On the bottom of each hinge, use the 6mm hex wrench to adjust the hinge height. Turning the set screw clockwise will raise the hinge. Make the same adjustments at both hinges. Be sure both hinges are carrying the weight of the panel approximately the same. When you have finished adjusting the hinge, tighten the top screws until snug. Do not over tighten the screw. Adjust your hinges horizontally until you have consistent reveals along the sides and at meeting styles. Open the panel about 90 degrees and support the weight with a 2x4 or other blocking. Use a hand screwdriver with a number 2 Phillips bit to loosen the panel leaf screws. Turn the screws approximately 3 turns. To make the necessary horizontal adjustments, use the 3mm hex wrench to turn the 3 set screws. Turn the screws clockwise to move the hinge away from the jam. Adjust all 3 set screws to approximately the same depth. The maximum adjustment is about five revolutions. When you're done with your adjustments, tighten the panel leaf screws on the top and bottom hinges.
When you are done adjusting the hinges, complete fastening the leaf hinge to the panel. The lock status sensor transmitter housing is located in the hinge style above the bottom hinge. Remove the vinyl cover to access the housing. Install the head jam cover. Hook the edge of the cover on the groove on the interior. Rotate and press the barb into the frame kerf. Set the cover with a rubber mallet. Install the jam covers in the same manner as the head jam covers and seat with a rubber mallet. On stationary panels, press the astrical cover into the astrical base. Make sure the end of the astrical cover is flush with the end of the base and not covering the dust block. Seat the cover with a rubber mallet. Installation of your modern outswing door panels is now complete. Be sure to view other related videos at our YouTube channel or visit www.marvin.com.